<laughs> I mean, some things are a bit explicit. Certain positions. It's, it's, it's like times um, looking at your cycle and like days and all that sort of thing. I just think it's ridiculous. I know, I know a lot of stressed people that have had sons. So it's quite, when we generalise like that, I just... Um, exactly. <laughs> I mean, some things are a bit explicit. Certain positions. It's, it's, it's like times um, looking at your cycle and like days and all that sort of thing. I just think it's ridiculous. I know, I know a lot of stressed people that have had sons. So it's quite, when we generalise like that, I just... Um, Exactly. And, uh, I'm a bit worried. Mum gave me great advice a couple of years ago and she said, do not raise a spoiled little brat, Jojo, because I hate the supermarket drama. Charlie will be like, toy, 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 toy. And they put them at the start. They're clever, marketing. And I'm like, I cannot go around the whole supermarket. Oh, damn it, I'll put the toy in. That's not a great idea, is it? Um, because you do grow a little brat if you do that all the time. So I think something where they realise that effort does pay off and they have to work for it and they can't just cry and get things on a plate. Actually, no, Charlie. I say no today. I say work for it and get your token or whatever works for you at home um, with your family. Um, I'm not perfect mum with a star chart and I can be quite disorganised myself, but just something to put in place to teach them that effort is going to get them rewards. They can't just get whatever they want all the yes, time. Uh, perhaps the parents said, oh, can you give to charity? And then the kid looks a bit gutted when no one turns up with a present. And I feel obliged to take a present anyway and donate to charity. Um, but I see it's good to give to charity. Um, I, it's double. I, I'm feeling you. My son is going to be five, right? In a few weeks, if he didn't get presents, he would be devastated. He is mad on play. He doesn't really understand what things cost at this stage. He just wants to play and get lost in his magical little world. His imagination is amazing. He wants to play constantly. It's kind of exhausting. Um, so I would say for him, bring all the presents and Put a gift receipt in if you're worried you're going to get duplicates. That would be nice. Goodness. So I just want to say our street at Halloween, it's like living in America. We are kinos. Um, so I feel like I need to get in with the neighbours, have the pumpkins and the signs out there. Um, so you come in, there's pumpkins everywhere, there's spiders, um, there's little spiders. So my daughter Bonnie likes to play pranks on us. So she'll put spiders in next to the porridge and go, Mom, are you making breakfast? You better get the oats out. And she stands there. So I have to react and be like, ah, it's a spider. Like, you know, I don't want to steal her joy, you know. Um, and a bit pumpkin, I made a pumpkin risotto this week. So talk about sustainability. Let's not throw away the insides. Let's make something tasty. We're foodies in our home so you'll get perhaps a spiced chili soup or a nice risotto um we like to party to myself and um, so yeah it'll be a tub of sweets i feel like that's all kids want if my son goes to a door and he gets an apple like he is disappointed <laughs> raging <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Friend does the best, oh, the best do every year. The food's amazing, the kids get dressed up, I get the smoky eyes like sexy witch. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm trying to avoid the plastic tat. We're all doing a bit, if we can all do something, it helps. Um, but there's ways to keep it classy, you know. I've got my furry spiders, um, a little bit of fake blood. One thing I am aware of though is my little boy had nightmares last year, um, and we need our sleep for the mojo. He was in the bed with me last night. Um, um, so I kind of, I don't want him too freaked out. Mm -hmm.